Alright, so welcome back here everybody. And now we're ready to go ahead and begin the process here of sculpting our trout. So let's go ahead here and start pulling out uh, our fins. And just making sure that we have our top there. We'll go ahead here and just mask out the area for our top fin here. And we'll go ahead and grab our move topological. Go ahead and just pull this out. And it looks like there's a big indention there in that middle fin. Okay, so we'll go ahead and dynamesh that. Smooth that out. Let's go and pull this other one out real quick. Try and fatten that up a little bit. Pull it down. Go ahead and dynamesh that. We will go ahead here and dynamesh our back fin. Pull this out as well. Do our bottom fins here. same method, you know, repeat it over and over and over again. Repetition is definitely key to, you know, getting faster and definitely being able to get this stuff out uh, in a way that you want and in a timely manner. Okay, so we'll go ahead here and pull our side fin out here. Let's go ahead and manipulate this a little bit. That's looking pretty good. So I think at this point we can probably go ahead here and turn our image off. Just making sure that uh, everything has at least a little bit of thickness to it so whenever we remesh here it's all going to maintain that shape. Okay, so let's try and remesh here real quick. Make sure that we turn our Dynamesh off. Z remesher, turn the Adaptive off. Okay, so it looks like everything has maintained uh, properly. I'm going to go ahead here and cut this in half real quick. And it still looks like it's maintaining that shape um, decently, so we'll jump up couple subdivision levels here and let's go ahead and start sculpting real quick so let's turn back on our image let's go ahead and mask out an area here for our gills and I actually need to jump up one more subdivision level just so that that's going to be a little bit um, smoother so it's going to be easier for me to go ahead and um, sculpt in all these gills so let's go ahead and just turn our image off just to make sure that we don't get any of that image coming through on the sculpt. Okay, smooth that out there. And that's actually a little bit too fat, so. Let's go ahead and mask an area behind there. And we will go ahead and pull that in. Get Mr. Trot here really sculpted out. Okay, the 
Let's fatten up that gill a little bit. Okay. And you can see, you know, how quickly you can go ahead and get that stuff done. But you can see here that I'm on subdivision level 5, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump down a couple here. Go ahead and delete the lower. Jump back up to make sure I have only three subdivision levels. Okay. Because even at this lower one, this isn't um, really that bad. Uh, but it's just going to help if we leave it at um, three subdivision levels rather than having five. Okay, so let's go ahead and figure it out. Figure out an area here where we want to go ahead and put in our eyes. Uh, let's go ahead and just pull back our image real quick. And I think right there should be good. Go ahead and turn our image back off. Let's go ahead and grab our eye brush. We'll go ahead and drag that eye in. Okay. Go ahead and clear that mask off and manipulate our eye real quick. Smooth that out a little bit. Let's go ahead and suck in the body of our eye there. And just need to turn the intensity up a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and append in our new geometry here for our eye. Just make sure that we select that sphere. And let's go ahead and scale this down. Turn on our transparency so that we can at least see the model here. Okay, go ahead and turn that off since we're pretty much into place there. Okay. So I think we're uh, in good placement there. So let's go ahead and draw back, go back into our draw mode, reselect our trout body, grab our clay, and let's start throwing some clay here for our eye. Go ahead and smooth that back. Okay, and just go ahead now and adjust the top of the eye here. Go ahead and clay up for the, our our bottom portion of the eye here. And we'll go ahead and just pull this down a little bit. And we'll go ahead and push this in as well. grab our standard brush here and we will turn our lazy mouse off there just making sure that I turn my smooth down as well because I don't want to smooth out it completely I want to have at least some of the body there and to maintain that shape there And that's the body of the eye. Okay, so we probably need to pull that out just a little bit, not too much. And I want to go ahead here and push that nose in a little bit. Just 
just making sure that that eye is going to be the, the shape that I'm going to be happy with. Because it should not only look good from the side, but it has to, you know, look good from the front as well. Okay, so we'll go ahead and grab our inflate brush. We will just mask an area here. Make sure that we have that on there. And we'll go ahead and throw in our eye shapes and our eye structure around the eye. And I'm going to have to shape the nose here a little bit. Just to round that out a little bit better. Go ahead and invert that mask and we will inflate our eyelids a little bit here. Go ahead and smooth that back a touch. Grab our Damien Standard. And cut in our shape here. Just refining it just a little bit more. probably jump up to subdivision level 4 there. And I'm going to mask out the eyelid here because I'm going to pull down this top a little bit. And basically pull it over a little more. And also thicken it up. Okay, we'll jump back up to subdivision level 4. Clear that mask off. Go ahead and smooth that area out a little bit. And I'm going to have to inflate this little bit, not too much. Also using my pinch here. I tighten that up. Okay. Let's go ahead and mirror that eye across. Let the subtool master. And we will make sure that we have our symmetry on here. And we're going to go ahead and cut in our pupils. Okay. Jump back to our fish mesh. And I'm going to have to refine that gill a little bit more here. But I'm going to make sure that I retopologize here real quick before I go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's go ahead at this point, duplicate our fish mesh, turn those off, and remesh real quick. And you're going to see that this is definitely going to take a little bit of time. Okay, so let's take a look here at how our Z remesher has come out. Okay, so we definitely need to, you know, do the same thing here and cut it in half. So this one will be just a little bit faster here. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut this in half one more time. That looks fairly good. Uh, we can probably even go uh, one more if we needed to. So that's more than low enough to go ahead and throw this in the roadkill real quick. So let's go ahead and open roadkill. Go ahead and bring this over. 
and I'll just zoom in here, select this middle edge, but you can see where it's selecting um, some other faces too, and that's okay. Just want to make sure that I grab that entire edge down the middle of the model. Go ahead and save that. And we will go ahead and delete this top one. Okay. We'll go ahead and append a new sphere here. App import our base fish geometry. And before we do anything, we can simply go ahead and uh, unwrap it. And we will go ahead and jump up a couple subdivision levels here. Move this up. Turn back on our uh, medium sculpt, I would say, and call it. Just make sure that we project uh, at point one. This way, all those details transfer really well. Okay, take a look here. So, all that stuff is transferring really um, well. I'm going to go ahead and delete some of that base geometry so we now we only have two subdivision levels instead of having the four let's go ahead and turn our eyes back on okay and just make sure that everything is going to be you know easy easily manipulatable with the move topological brush okay so let's go ahead here and fix our gills a little bit more and I'm just pinning behind there okay so let's go ahead and push this in Invert that mask and push in the actual geometry there. And we'll just have to inflate that a little bit. And we'll smooth that out. So there are gills are, are working well. Let's go ahead and create our mouth here real quick. So we just need to bring our image back and see where we want to go ahead and put that mouth onto the character. So let's go ahead and maybe mask out here and I don't want that mouth to be so large Okay, go ahead and turn that image off and it looks like I masked out too big of an area there so let's go there maybe go ahead and invert that mask grab our Damien standard here and just make a couple cuts real quick looks more like a, a miniature shark I would say let's go ahead and smooth that out a little bit pinch this stuff together real quick and let's try and refine this shape just a little bit more here So we'll jump up a couple subdivision levels here. And we might even have to jump up to subdivision level 5 here. Let's go ahead and paint out our 
masks for our fin. Okay. Oops. Go ahead here and blur this mask out. Go up to subdivision level 5. Let's go in and add some surface deformation here. And we just need to grab the alpha. Let's go ahead and start with this one. Turn the intensity up here. Grab the UV. Definitely going to have to scale those down. Okay. So that's looking pretty um, cartoonish, but I don't want that strength to be so high. Okay. So let's go ahead and hit OK. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that to the mesh. And it'll just take a second or two to update there. So try not to click your mouse whenever that's updating because if you click it, it's going to tend to um, pause the program. I mean, it could crash it as well. So let's go ahead and add a, another noise modifier on top of this with a different alpha pattern so that we can really break this up a little bit better and maybe we'll go ahead and put this in the positive rather than the negative for the strength Okay, so we get more of those squares to come out and probably scale that down a little bit more there Okay, we'll go ahead and hit OK. And we will apply that to the mesh. And we will invert that mask. And let's go ahead here and start sculpting our fins. Let's use our our rake brush. Go ahead and just zoom in here. Turn your focal shift down. We're going to turn the size up. We're going to turn the intensity down. And we'll just begin here by trying to grab some of this detail onto the mesh real quick. But you can still see where this is a little bit too thick. And that's okay because I want to go ahead and do this before I um, thin those out. It's just going to make it easier uh, in the long run. Got to jump back a step there. You just have to, you know what I mean. Um, just have to go in and start doing this on your own, and um, just go on feel. Definitely use your imagination to go ahead and create all these fish. But really, it shouldn't take you too long to get all this stuff out fairly quickly. Uh, I can only show you the tools, but you know you definitely have to go in and do the work. just right now just throwing on some rake brush here and 
also holding down Alt while I do it in some cases to capture a little bit more detail. jump down to subdivision level 3 here and I'm going to come up and thin this out because that looks more like um, the thickness of a candy bar and I don't want it to be that thick so just grab the move topological try and thin that out a little bit maybe the front has to get a little bit thinner here as well Let's take a look at our tail. Our tail's looking decent, but I want to thin the mid part out here just a little bit. Okay. Let's go ahead and jump back up to subdivision level 5 here. throw our elf on for our rake brush and we'll run through his real quick we really want to try to break up that tail because if you ever look at a fish's fin it's definitely um, fairly complex and there's a lot going on so I would you know definitely suggest to go ahead and do your research uh, online looking at fish um, depending on what you're sculpting So let's go ahead and grab our um, standard brush, spray stroke, and we will make sure that we grab the right alpha here. Z sub and jump up a little bit intensity. Go ahead and throw that on there. On those bottom fins. And on the middle fin here. So let's go ahead and clear that mask and take a look. So I think our fish here is uh, looking fairly decent. Um, I think I'm pretty much happy with this. And you guys can go ahead and spend as much time uh, as you want sculpting. Uh, there's no right or wrong amount of time to go ahead and uh, get done and get these done quickly. But like I said, you should be able to get them done quickly, especially from using that, that base shape. Um, and, and definitely just go ahead and uh, go on freedom and go on you know what you want to create what you see in your brain and uh, just have your imagination basically run wild so uh, I think that's it for this fish and the next lesson we'll go ahead and come back and start on fish number six and then uh, we'll just continue working so come on back